Hello everyone, we are back with the Rams franchise. If you missed our last episode, you missed a great game. We needed a win in order to make the postseason, and we did just that by beating the 49ers in overtime. We did have a lot of things go our way, including getting a Hail Mary, but a win is a win, and we have made the postseason as the last wildcard team in the NFC. We do have a rematch against that same 49ers team today in the wildcard round, so we could be in store for another great game. The defense in the regular season, it really struggled against the pass. We actually allowed the most passing yards in the entire NFL, so we really need the pass rush to step up. They have the goal today to help us beat the 49ers and get three or more sacks. In the regular season, it was Byron Young, the rookie out of Tennessee, who had the team in sacks with eight of them, and he had himself a great day in practice and actually ended up earning himself a dev trait upgrade. He is now up to superstar dev. He began the year at normal dev and has yeah, progressed his way all the way up to superstar. He's actually not the only rookie who had a great day in practice. There was also Jason Taylor II, the 7th the round rookie, free safety out of Oklahoma State. He himself ended up also going up to superstar dev. So a great day in practice for those two. Hopefully they can have a good game today against this 49ers offense that actually did turn the ball over three times in that game. Brock Purdy threw three interceptions, including a pick six, and he did get sacked four times by our defense. So hopefully the pass rush, it can have a big day, and hopefully we can shut down McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, and George Kittle because they all had over 100 yards against our defense, and we really cannot let that happen again because I don't think our offense is going to be able to replicate what they did in that matchup last week. We are dealing with multiple injuries on offense. Of course, we are still without our two starting tackles in Rob Havenstein and Joseph Noteboom, who are both still on IR and are both still out. But on top of that, we are now also without our two top tight ends in Davis Allen and Nikhil Harry. We could not go into this game with only two players available for both tight end and fullback in Josiah DeGuara, who is going to get the start and Adam Shaheen, so we had to sign someone, and that is Max Williams, a veteran tight end out of Minnesota, who is a very good run blocker. I don't want to put him out there, but we may have to if we have another injury at tight end or if one of those two ends up getting tired. To open up a roster spot for him, we have placed Jaquan Hardy back on the practice squad. He has been some solid depth for us at running back. He had a couple of touchdowns for us in the regular season, but we just had to open up a roster spot for Max Williams. The offense that played well last week, can they have another good game today? And can we get another win against this 49ers team and advance on in the postseason? Or are we going to be heading to the offseason early? The number two seed in the NFC, the 49ers will begin with possession. It's a handoff to McCaffrey, who's got a lot of room up the middle. He'll pick up 13 yards in the first down. From the 40, Purdy. He's going to go left side and hit Debo Samuel, who is down a yard short of the first down marker. Third and one. A fake to McCaffrey. Purdy scanning. He's hit as he wanted to go. It is intercepted by Kelvin Joseph, who had a pick six off of Brock Purdy last week. It's not going to be another pick six, but he is going to return it to the 45, where the Rams' offense will take over. An early mistake from Brock Purdy and the 49ers' offense as the Rams with good starting field position. Puka Nakua is unable to hang on to a pass down the field. Third and 11. The Rams go empty. And Rosen is going to be hit as he went to go. And a little incomplete. And the Rams are going to waste that turnover and go three and out. The Niners take over at their 21. It's a check down to McCaffrey who makes a catch and has a gain of four. Third down. Purdy is going to go deep over the middle. He's got a man wide open in Debo Samuel. Who is up to the 45, keeping the drive going from under center. A fake to McCaffrey and a throw right back to him, and he can't make the catch. Mike Harrison able to knock the ball loose. Second and 10, a quick pass left side to Ayuk, and he'll make a catch and pick up just three yards on it. Third and seven, Purdy has time, but it's running out. He's under pressure now, and he goes down. He's going to be sacked by Bobby Brown the third, and the 49ers are going to end up punting it away. The Rams take over at their own 16. They give left side to Akers. He gets a great block on the edge from Josiah DeGuara. And he's up to the 37 with a first down. Akers again, this time up the middle. He'll pick up five yards on that carry. Third down. 
Michael Carter the back. Rosen is going to check it out to Josiah DeGuerra, the starting tight end for today's game. He's got a first down with a gain of nine. How about Josiah DeGuerra, though, going from tight end three to tight end one as down goes Rosen. He's sacked by Eric Armstead. Second and 14. It's a screen to Michael Carter. He gets a great block from Steve Avila, and he's going to stutter step and get tackled down by Fred Warner, but he's got a first down at the 32 of the 49ers. Cam Akers is hurtling ahead, and he's taken out with a gain of five. Third down. We have four-man rush. Rosen is under pressure, and he goes down. He'll be sacked by Eric Armstead again, and that'll bring up fourth down. And Tanner Brown is going to kick a field goal. He'll make it and get the Rams on the board and break the 0-0 zero zero tie. The 49ers are going to get some points on the board of their own. They'll start with a deep ball left side to Brandon Ayuk, who just burned Kobe Durant. And he's across midfield to the Rams 49. A fake to McCaffrey. And Purdy's going down again. This time sacked by Byron Young. It's going to be a loss of nine. Second and 19 to begin the second quarter. McCaffrey right side. He's back across midfield. And he's got first down yardage. And it's to the Rams 37. A big letdown from the Rams rush defense there. McCaffrey right side again. He'll squeeze through a small gap and pick up another new set of downs as he's up to the 23. The Niners going empty on second and 10. A pass left side is batted away by Trivia Sajis Tomlinson. Third down. Purdy fires right side. It is caught by Juwan Jennings who breaks a tackle. He's inside the 10 and down at the 8 making it goal to go. First and goal. They go bunch left. Purdy. He's going to throw that way. It is caught by Debo, who spins off of Ernest Jones. is inside the five. And down at the two. He appears to be injured on the play. Hopefully, he ends up being all right. Second and goal. They go back under center. Purdy swinging down out right side to McCaffrey. And he's going to be dropped in the backfield by Antoine Brooks. It's a loss of two. Third and goal. Purdy avoids a pass rusher. And he can't avoid the second, though. He's going to be sacked by Michael Hoyt back at the 10, bringing up fourth down. And the 49ers will settle for a field goal attempt. They'll make it, and we are going to be all set up again now at 3. The Rams begin this drive at their 23. Rosen is going to buy some time, throw on the move, and hit Cooper Cup on the right sideline. He's up near the 40 with a first down. A great job by Rosen to extend the play and find his man in Cooper Cup. Akers on a toss is going to get past Red Warner, but pick up only a gain of a couple. Third down. The Rams are going to go to the air. It'll be a pass over the middle. Caught by Atwell, who is slammed down at midfield with a first down. Rosen takes it to Akers. He's going to look for Atwell again, and he can't quite hang on this time. It'll be incomplete. Third and 10. Rosen. A deep drop. He is it as he want to go. It a vault incomplete. And the Rams are going to have to punt this one away. The 49ers with a chance to take the lead. It's a throw right side intercepted by Cameron Dantzler. And instead of the 49ers taking the lead, the Rams will on a pick six from Cameron Dantzler. They'll go up 10-3 in the first half. Brock Purdy threw three interceptions last week against this Rams defense, and he's already got two in the first half of this one. Maybe they should lean a bit more on McCaffrey in their ground game as he takes it up near the 45. Now a catch on the right side by Kittle as him to midfield. Third down, a quick pass to Juwan Jennings who hangs on. Throw a big hit of Ernest Jones for a first down. Now a quick pass left side is caught by Juwan Jennings again. He's got a gain of five. Third and two at the two-minute warning. It's a draw for McCaffrey. He'll juke out a defender. He's got a first down and is up to the 25. He's got 76 yards on only seven carries. It's been very efficient. Now Purdy going down the field. It is caught by Brandon Ayuk. There is a flag on the play. It is going to be an unnecessary roughness against Jordan Fuller. So the play is going to result in a touchdown for the 49ers, and we are all set up at 10 in the first half. Rosen trying to make something happen. He'll go down the field and hit 2-2 two -two well, well. A great throw from Josh Rosen. You're not going to see many better than that as he hits him deep down the field. And now the Rams are in 49ers territory. Michael Carter is going to head out of bounds at the 25 with a gain of 8. Third and Sue. Rosen left side, it's Michael Carter. He gets around Oliver, is inside the five and out of bounds at the one, making it goal to go. First and goal. It's going to be an RPO throw left side for Puka Nakua, and he can't quite hang on. 
They'll go under center on second at goal. And give it to Akers up the middle. He breaks a tackle. He is still going to be stopped shy of the end zone, though, at the one. Cooper Cup lined up in the backfield on third down. Rosen fires left set. It is caught by Josiah DeGora. And they'll say he got his feet down in time inbounds. It's a touchdown. And the Rams are going to take the lead 17 to 10. And that's going to be the way we end the first half of this wild card game between a couple of rivals with the Rams on top of the 49ers. We'll see what happens here in the second half. It was a pretty good first half overall for the Rams with Josh Rosen really outplaying Brock Purdy. And that being the main difference in this one, Purdy threw a pick six and Rosen did not. On defense, I want to see us improve on stopping McCaffrey. He had 74 yards on just eight carries. We need to limit him in the second half. And we also need to block Eric Armstead. He was in the backfield on just about every play it felt like. And the stats, they do show that. Getting into the second half, the Rams with possession. Here is Akers' right side. He's going to be brought down right away. Just a gain of one. Third and eight. Rosen. For an empty set, he's under pressure. And he's going down. He's going to be sacked by, you guessed it, Eric Armstead. And the Rams go three and out to open the second half. The Niners take over near midfield. Here's McCaffrey left side. And he'll pick up a gain of five. Third down. Purdy. Quick left side it is. Caught by... Their second string side end, Warner, he's got a first down from the 38. McCaffrey, left side, he jukes out a defender, and he's got another first down, and is up to the 26 as he's now up to 91 yards on the day. Purdy hitting George Kittle underneath, and he's going to be brought down right away by Jason Taylor, the second. From the 19, a throw right side is caught by Ray Ray McLeod, who is up to the 11 with a first down. A run-heavy formation. They will hand it off to McCaffrey, and he's going to be slammed down right away. They'll call it a gain of one. Third and nine. Hurdy has time. He fires to the end zone and connects with Juwan Jennings in heavy traffic for a touchdown, and we are going to be all tied up at 17 in the third quarter. Six minutes to go in the third quarter. The Rams will begin their drive with a draw by Michael Carter. They'll pick up five yards on it. Third down. Rosen. Standing tall in the pocket, he'll go right side, and it is caught by Puganakua, who's going to be spun down at midfield. A good job by Josh Rosen to give himself as much time as possible to find somebody open. Michael Carter left side, he'll take it to the San Francisco 45. Second at four, Rosen backing up and going down the field. He's got a man wide open in Ben Skoranek, who stiff arms the defender and is up to the 15, putting the Rams right into the red zone. Second at 10, a toss left side to Cam Akers. He spins past the defender inside the 10 and is up to the 7. Third and 2, Rosen back to throw. He goes left side and hits Puka Dakua, who hangs on, and he's got a first down at the 4, making it goal to go. First and goal, Rosen back to throw again. He'll go left side to DeGuara, who is knocked down in the backfield, and he appears to be injured on the play. He's actually going to head right back to the locker room, and he will not return to this one. Good thing we signed Max Williams, who is now going to have to see the field. Second at goal. Akers right side. He'll power his way across the goal line for a touchdown, and the Rams are going to retake the lead here at the end of the third quarter. 24-17, the Rams in front. Kittle is going to make a catch on the left side and impressively hurdle past a couple of defenders and take it up to the 44. A minute 12 to go in the third quarter. McCaffrey has room up the middle. He's got a first down across midfield. As to the Rams 45 and is also now over 100 yards on the day. Purdy on first and 10 goes down. He's going to be sacked by Bobby Brown the third in Trivia Hodges Tomlinson back at midfield. The third quarter winding down. It's going to end with a catch by Ayuk over the middle. He's got a first down. He's tackled ahead up to the 28. Now in the fourth quarter, McCaffrey is going to begin it with a Carey, he's going to bounce it back to his right and spin off a defender and somehow pick up nine yards on the run. Second, it's short. McCaffrey, left side, he's got a first down and jukes out Jason Taylor the second and he's going to take it all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. And just like that, we are all tied up to begin the fourth quarter. Michael Carter up the middle is brought down right away in the backfield by Eric Armstead for a loss of three. Third and 13, Rosen. Under pressure, he's hit as he let it go. It'll be incomplete. Javon Hargrave applying the pressure on Rosen. He actually, remember, missed the matchup last week, but I'm sure the 49ers are happy to have him back for this one. The 49ers are going to begin their drive with a gain of five. 
A fake to McCaffrey. Purdy goes down the field and hits Brandon Ayuk. He's across midfield into L.A. territory and out the 37. 6.32 to go in the fourth quarter. McCaffrey, right side is near another first down. And down just shy of it, they say. Third and inches. Purdy goes quick left side and hits McLeod. And they're going to get in the first down at the 26. Purdy right back to the air. He'll go left side and hit Kittle who hangs on. He took a hit from Jake Hummel. He'll pick up six yards on it. Second and four. Purdy under pressure and he'll go down. He'll be sacked back at the 32 by Malik Harrison. Bringing up third and long. Third and 16. Purdy is under pressure. He's got a guy open. He's not going to throw it to him, though. Instead, he'll throw it away, and that's going to bring a port down. And the 49ers are going to try a field goal, and they're going to make it and take the lead here in the fourth quarter, 27-24. We are starting to get weight in the fourth quarter with under four minutes to go in it. Cooper Cup catches the screen on the left side, and he's out of bounds up at the 37 with a new set of downs. Rosen has time and hits Cooper Cup. He'll get a block from Michael Carter and Adam Shaheen and take it in the 49ers territory and is down at their 45. 312 to go in the fourth quarter. Rosen is hit as he would it go and they're going to call it an incomplete pass luckily for the Rams. Third and 10. Rosen is hit as he would go again in this time. They're going to call it a fumble. It is recovered by the 49ers and they're going to take over in LA territory with only three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. So they have a chance to run this one out. Purdy's going to go to the air, though. He'll go down the field and hit Jawan Jennings, who's up to the 25. And that is going to take us down to the two-minute warning. A give right side to McCaffrey. He'll be hammered down right away, and the Rams are going to use their first timeout. Third and eight. Purdy. This time he goes left side. It is caught by Kittle. He's brought down right away, and the Rams are going to use a timeout. And the 49ers are going to settle for a field goal attempt on fourth and two. And they'll make it and extend their lead. But a great job by the Rams defense to get off the field pretty quick and give the Rams offense a chance to drive down the field and take the lead. They got a minute 47 and one timeout to try and do so. A pass over the middle is offline intended for Michael Carter, who is wide open. Second and 10. Rosen is going to go deep left side. He hits Puka Nakua behind the defense. He's inside the 30, inside the 21. Man to be Neil stiff arm man. Gets shoved out of bounds at the two. A huge play by Puka Nakua. It sets the Rams offense with it up at the two. First and goal. Cam Akers right side. He's into the end zone untouched with a touchdown. And the Rams will take the lead here. Wait in the fourth quarter. The only question is, did they score too quick? Because... Now the 49ers have a minute 32 and all their timeouts to get down the field, and they only need a field goal to retake the lead. A pass is caught underneath by Ayuk, and he's brought down right away. Third and Sue. Purdy goes deep right side, and it's Juwan Jennings behind Travis Hodges Tomlinson. He's going to be shoved out of bounds at the 22 of Los Angeles. And just like that, the 49ers are in field goal range with a minute to go in the fourth quarter. Here's McCaffrey up the middle. He'll pick up four yards, and the Rams are going to be forced to use their last timeout. Elijah Mitchell right side. He has the first down and is tackled down at the eight, and the 49ers can wind the clock down as far as they want to. It's going to be a pass, though, on first and goal. Caught by Jawan Jennings for a touchdown, and the 49ers have retaken the lead late in the fourth quarter, and they will go for two to try and make it a seven-point game. Purdy. Goes right side to Ayuki. He's brought down by Cameron Dantzler, shy of the end zone. So it is only a five-point lead with 30 seconds to go. They should have just ran the clock down and kicked the field goal, though, because the Rams now have a chance to retake the lead. They'll go deep down the field right away. It is just batted away from Puka Nakua, who had a step on the defender. Had Rosen hit him in stride. That could have been a long touchdown. Rosen hits his way to go on third down. It'll be incomplete. So ball game on the line here in season on the line for the Rams on 4th and 10. Rosen has time. He fires left side. It is batted away and incomplete. It'll be a turnover on downs. And the 49ers are going to hang on to win this one 36-31. And they will advance on to the divisional round. And for the Rams, their season is over. A tough way to end the season. Losing to a bitter rival in the postseason when you beat them twice in the regular season. Sure, we did only win those two games in the regular season by a combined six points, but we did beat them twice in the regular season. When it mattered most, though, in the postseason, 
we couldn't do enough to win this one. We did have a lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense, though, they just couldn't hang on to it. They played a good first half. The second half, they just couldn't get a stop on Brock Purdy when we needed them to. The offense, it was a rough day for him up front. Eric Armstead had a career day. We couldn't block him. We couldn't run block at all. Cam Akers, in the first quarter, he had a 21-yard run. And after that 21-yard run, he had 13 carries for 34 yards the rest of the way. And that just allowed the 49ers pass rush to tee off on our offensive line that had three rookies starting on it and Jason Peters, who we only signed due to injury. So a rough day for the offensive line. They just couldn't help out Josh Rosen and the ground game enough. Let's quickly find out who is advancing on through the postseason to the Super Bowl. It is going to be the Los Angeles Chargers and the New Orleans Saints, who are both number six seeds in the AFC and NFC. In the Pro Bowl, we had two guys make it. Jordan Fuller is the number one safety in the NFC, and we had the kicker for the NFC in Sander Brown. Both those guys had pretty impressive years. Glad they both made the Pro Bowl. The Super Bowl champions are the Los Angeles Chargers as they beat the Saints 28-14, the MVP of the Super Bowl is Khalil Mack, who had three sacks in that game. Derek Carr, he actually got sacked seven times in total. So congratulations to them. A couple of notable retirements. One was Jason Peters, who gave us everything he had left in the tank and spent 20 years in the NFL in total. Pete Carroll, the head coach of the Seahawks, has decided to retire as well, which means they'll have a new head man next year. Some dev trait changes to announce. First up is Josh Rosen, who has gone up to superstar dev. That is great for his future. And speaking of his future, he is set to be a free agent. So I think if we want to bring him back, we're going to have to give him a pretty big contract to be our franchise quarterback. You saw the big one there, Byron Young. He has progressed all the way to superstar X Factor. He began the year at just normal dev and has quickly progressed all the way to superstar X Factor. Michael Hoyt, he is going to be a free agent as well. He has gone up to star dev. And our two pro bowlers, Jordan Fuller and Tanner Brown, they have both also gone up a dev trait. So quite a few dev trait changes for us this year. Josh Rosen went up from normal dev to superstar on offense, and that was really the only one we had on offense. On defense, we had a bunch of them here. Bobby Brown the third up to star dev. We had Jordan Fuller to superstar. Jason Taylor from normal dev to superstar, Hoyt to star dev, Byron Young, the biggest one though, up to superstar X Factor. Despite the early exit in the postseason, I would still call this year a success, but I want to hear your thoughts down below on what you thought of this season. In the next episode, we'll be doing an off-season preview where we recap this year and talk about the way that we want to build this team moving forward. Thanks for watching this one, and I will see you in the next one.